switched the road bike shoes for snake boots this morning. Today's an off day, so you're gonna see the country living side of me. My recovery days aren't like most. Recovery day to me means no bike, no gym. But I usually do more than I really need to and stay on my feet too much. But on the back side of my property, I have a creek. I have a, uh, a beaver problem out here. I didn't really learn how bad it was until about two years after living here. So every couple days, I come out here to the creek and I got four dams that I gotta keep clear. Luckily it hasn't rained for a few days. We shouldn't have much. I got traps and stuff out here for the beavers. This is dam number one. So you can see how it was dammed up here. So this one's flowing. Now I'll walk up to the next one. And here we have dam number two. This was all one big dam. Obviously dug it out there, dug it out there. Dam number three. Notice they're getting bigger. It's flowing. When they dam up the creek, and then it rains, it overflows. And then when it overflows, it goes into my yard. And when I first started this, I had from one end all the way to the other end of my property, and a hundred foot in, I, I pretty much had unusable land. It was so wet, the water had nowhere to go. So I kind of was left with no choice to come out here and clear them and start catching them because it was either them or me lose my land and this is my house oh we're good this is the last one this is a big one it goes all the way across see how fat this one is nice head back home we are gonna start on prepping the area that i'm putting the bmx track or where i'm moving the bmx track i first started to build the track behind my shop and i have a good area with some shade where my dirt jumps are so i decided i'm gonna move the bmx track over there because more shade means grass doesn't grow as much. And where it was sitting, it's just too much maintenance. Grass and weeds grew very easy. And it just kind of took over the jumps. A one man show is really hard just to manage the first straightaway. So you can only imagine a full track. It's gonna go right where the mini ramp is. So we're gonna start by ripping out the mini ramp. Once the mini ramp's gone, then I can move my starting gate over to that side of the property. And hopefully, within the next couple of months, I have a first and second straightaway of my own personal BMX track. Let's go get the tools and get started. Here we are. The plan to bring the two-man gate that's behind my shop over here. We're gonna remove the entire mini ramp. The seven-foot quarter, I'm gonna take that quarter. I'm actually gonna put that way down there and we're just gonna use it as like a turnaround feature. Obviously you don't really ride ramps that often, like quarter pipes and stuff, so yeah. That's gonna get on there. I'll get rid of all this. I'll reuse this wood somehow. And we're gonna put a starting gate here. So starting gate here, it'll be a nice, small, proper workout hill. A normal USA BMX style first jump step up here. And then we're gonna go straight down the hill. There's been plenty of step ups out of the gate at races this season that have really screwed me up. So I need to work on my pedal manuals. Small gate, normal jump, straight into like a super cross style uh, pro section jump. No tabletops, straight, pedal fast and send it. 90 degree turn and then it'll shoot you across the yard that way. And then obviously it's gonna take me a while to get that far, but we'll have a dialed second straightaway. Don't know what we're gonna build. 180, which will come back. And then we'll do a 90 again uh, up against this cluster of trees. And then it'll be a right-hander to send you right back up the hill. And if everything works the way I'm thinking, you'll come out of that turn with speed. And then I'm gonna do an uphill rhythm section. Um, not that that sounds the most fun, I'll just do, probably just do a bunch of rollers, but I figured it'd just be a good feature to make you really work to get back to the top of the hill and finish you off right where you started. First step, get rid of the mini ramp. Let's take it apart.
I'm not sure where the camera died at, but here we are. Oh, doesn't look like anything. Uh, quarter still there, whole meter amp is gone. I have a mess in my hands. Anytime I pull a piece of wood off that's not completely rotted out, I like push it to the side and save it for another build because wood ain't cheap anymore. Fingers crossed that I'm hoping I can detach that quarter pipe and just flip it over onto a trailer and move it to that side of the yard. But that's another day's problem in another video. If you guys like this kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe to my Backyard Berry page. That's where I'm slowly putting all my DIY content. Stoke that's finally gone. I've been putting that off for a while. We get this quarter pipe gone soon and start putting the gate in. That's a wrap on today. Back at it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody had a good Thursday. Peace.